Welcome everybody this evening to Matt's Mountain Radio here on WDBX. Tonight we have all the internet watching. We have everybody a part of it. We are filming right now on WDBX. Um, it's going to be on YouTube later. If you're a fan of Matt's Mountain, if you're a fan of Crescent Vale, you'll check out Crescent Vale. Crescent like a wrench, Vale like a valley, V-A-L-E. So you type in Crescent Vale on YouTube. You can, uh, you'll be able to check out this video later. You're also able to check out uh, videos from the Blue Hit I filmed there in the WDBX studio last March. It was uh, awesome. If you like folk music, check out the Blue Hit on YouTube. Check out Crescent Vale. Big reason why we're filming tonight, why we're talking about Crescent Vale and social networking in general, is the New York Times just released a uh, there was an article earlier today about the influence that social network has on um, a lot of different things. Twitter in particular, I think, is what they were focusing on with the article. The article basically went into detail about the influence that Twitter has on social groups. Um, I've been a part of Twitter for a little bit. I think some people use it. They, they get a lot out of it. Some people use it and not get a lot out of it. Right now in the back, we just got a little bit of Fat Boy Slim playing. For all the Fat Boy Slim fans, it's going to be in Chicago in August. Back to the New York Times article. They have now, it's called Peer Index. If you haven't checked this out, check it out. Uh, if you have like a Twitter account and you wonder where you kind of range, you go to Peer Index, you type in your Twitter, and then what you can find out is um, where you rate nationwide. I think a 40 is where most people rate nationwide, and um, 19 is, you know, kind of average. Uh, Crescent Vale got a 44. We're above the nation average. So for social networking, uh, Crescent Vale is actually doing better than most nationwide businesses, companies, and groups in general. That kind of leads me to believe that the company and the social network that I'm building in Southern, Southern Illinois is, is becoming building a lot of credibility. And I just want everybody to be a part of it. That's why we're filming tonight. I want to bring more people in on YouTube. Um, we're going to be having live tweets here on Twitter if the computer works. There's just a lot of different ways that we can connect with people here on WDBX, here on Matson Mountain, Crescent Vale. It's all one of the same. It's one big network. And what we want to do is bring in as many people as possible every Monday night. This is um, it's a weekly kind of smashing good time. I love having guests on the show. It's just me tonight. We sometimes have Matt. We sometimes have, it was a, it's a long list of great people on the show this, this past year. And I just want to keep it going. I want to bring more people online into the studio and show them what Matt's Mountain's all about. So what we're going to get into right now, a little bit of Fat Boy Slim, start the show off. Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to get into it tonight. Have fun. Right there, we have North Mississippi All-Stars, featuring Luther Dickinson, his brother and his good friends. North Mississippi, beautiful. All in the Midwest, we got a lot of great blues music going on right there, a lot of great rock and roll. Before that, we have Fat Boy Slim. Right now, we're filming on YouTube. I just want to let everybody know it's kind of a social networking night here on Madison Mountain uh, via Twitter. It's kind of down right now. We can't, social, we can't socialize with you via Twitter this evening. Uh, the computer is down right now. We'll get it back up next week. Right now we're filming that. We're going to be able to be on YouTube later. That's kind of the beauty of um, being able to record your show, be able to share it with others later. So what we're going to do right now is probably take the segments that in between the songs, these little beautiful nuggets of time. We just had a caller in, Jeff from Macanda. He uh, requested a little bit of Frank Zappa, some Iron Maiden. We're going to get that for him as soon as we can. We just got to find it. Got to get that computer running. I got to hit some spark plugs in the back. Computers ran on spark plugs, which they don't. So what we got coming up next is a music preview, kind of, um, it embodies what Tall Tree Lake Music Festival is going to be about this year. One of the big bands is called Mansions on the Moon. Mansions on the Moon is about to blow up, and basically Tall Tree Lake is the same thing. We have a music festival in Southern Illinois every September. It's annual, this is gonna be our third year. And if you haven't attended or heard about the Tall Tree Lake Music Festival, all you people on YouTube need to find out right now. Go YouTube on, you're listening at home, Google it, Tall Tree Lake Music Festival. One of the best times you can have in Southern Illinois. And I can say that because I've grown up in Southern Illinois. So as far as having a great time, check it out. Listen to some music right now from one of the bands I'll be performing there. We're gonna listen to a few songs, Mansions on the Moon. And hopefully you dig it. It's really got, a, it's, a, it's a, got bluegrass, a lot of great bands, not just this kind of music I'm playing for you right now. There's gonna be a lot going on. Thank you for joining us on Matt's Mountain this evening, YouTube, at home, anywhere. 
It means a lot to me. It means a lot to everybody part of the network. Thank you.